Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and once again it's time for some more King Arthur Knight's Tale. I'm going to attempt this mission again. I played for it once this afternoon and I was able to complete it. I had to be very careful and I did a couple of things. Firstly, I mentioned, yeah, I gave everyone potions. I ensured that all our frontliners had a full complement of potions. Lady Dindrain did not get a second potion for two reasons. Firstly, I didn't have that many potions. And secondly, she stays at the back and shoot things and stays relatively out of harm's way. Next up, we have plus two hit points. That's great. Um, plus one unbreakable armor when outnumbered. I gave this to Sir Balin because he has very low armor. I could have given this to Lady Dindrain for the extra burning duration, but I decided to, I mean, <clears throat> ignore 50% of block values. I don't think they have very particularly high block values in this combat. Plus one damage for overwatch attacks. I just didn't use that much overwatch in this mission. And then we have this, which again, first encounter after arrest, not massive. Armor. Did anyone get an armor upgrade? I believe we already have good armor values here. And as for weapons, oh yes, um, this goes to Sir K for the bleeding. I also discovered I can look at abilities before I unlock them. When it comes to ability upgrades, I have a few thoughts, right? First off, I would like to fully upgrade all these abilities. Secondly, the fact that most of these upgrades are very tempting means that these higher level abilities need to be really good to encourage me to take these. It also means that there needs to be a limited amount of active abilities for a hero. Additionally, this skill. For every other hero, the skill in this position is a passive. This is an active skill. However, it does not appear on Sir Balin's skill bar and cannot be used. There's something wrong with it. I don't know if I need to upgrade it once for it to appear, or to learn a new skill for it to appear, but for whatever reason, he's got the same two skills that any starting hero has. So the starting heroes, when they come in with two skills on the hotbar, maybe it's just a two skills on the hotbar issue and the game won't acknowledge a third one until he's leveled up, I don't know. Right. I do need to be careful with this mission. It's a meat grinder. It's all about slowly working my way through the opposition. Now, we have heard this before last time. So what are the tricks to this mission? It's all about crowd control. It's all about reducing the amount of attacks the enemy can gain um, by staying just out of their charge ranges. You know, keeping just that little bit too far away that they can't move up to us and attack. It's about not overcommitting Sir Bors and uh, Sir Balin and Sir Balan. They need to stay on the sides, harry the foes, pick off weak ones. Same for our archer, actually. She will pick off weakened foes. We'll use the magician to slow and knock back enemies. It's pretty much what I was doing before but much more carefully and with more potions. This may prove to be a lengthy episode for that very purpose. Oh, that's, that's interesting. All right. I may have just broken the game. Go me. <laughs> That's what I get for making a paranoia check to ensure the recording was occurring. 
I've lost the mouse cursor and got the default Windows mouse cursor of our back on the game, so who knows? Okay, I'm on game. You can do this. You've got a massive 120 gigabyte install size. You should be good at handling something like this. So the big fight at the end with all the jars, there was um, no point breaking the jars. They did absolutely virtually nothing. Um, enemies either got healed or, or hurt when they went through them. I think it was healed. And the enemies weren't breaking the jars, right? So it was literally just... Oh, God, it's just cacked, hasn't it? All right. Oh, there we go. That's better. The mouse cursor's back. Hooray. So, let's put the front rankers in front, back rankers at the back. And remember that we need to look for treasure in every corner because it will be tucked away. Die, vile thief! Back to the grave with you! Now. As you see, the skill is just missing from his bar. The Lord is my witness. Hmm. So we can shoot this one, but not this one. Our axeman can go finish this one off fairly comfortably. Get a big heavy hit. Whomp. Those two now. The problem with shooting this one twice is so Mordred then goes in, shield bashes, and job done. Blessings. By which I mean if we set him on fire. Okay, so let's not set him on fire. The Lord guides my hand. I serve the Lord. So we're going to go to here. For my Camelot. Oh, really? Okay. So let's move into here. And then... Power and glory. Save those points. Move up a little. There we go. I think we're done. Yes, that trap wasn't for this one, it was for these ones coming this way. And he, I think, will probably target this one, just to be awkward. Oh no. The slow and knockback and one was engaging him, that is fine. The Lord is my witness. Okay, that's slightly bothersome. And hold that second shot. The Lord is now. my witness. This is all very tempting. Okay. So None can stand in my way. I can move some Mordred up to here and attack. And get that kill quite easily, thus tempting this one to come this way. Uh, I'll need to pull him back, though. Taste what blade a so what I'm going to do is toss out another trap. Oh, that's a bother. Um, here, then. It would be nice to go... Oh, hello. I'm not allowed to drop one there, I see. That's a shame, right? For king and country. It would be nice to step up and strike this one down. That is not an option. The Lord is my witness. 
and this is not some kind of knockback shot. So if we just take the kill, and then step to here actually, and then drop a trap. Apparently this is unavailable, so here we'll do. Excellent. a lot of armor loss. That's not good. That was an incredible, an incredibly generous XCOM step out of the square moment. I also <clears throat> need to be feeding these two kills as they have some catching up to do. Sir Ector, who raised King Arthur like his own. In the flesh, master of arcane arts, keeper of secrets. I could almost call him an insurrectionist. A terrible curse was unleashed. The ignorant peasants built pigsties upon sacred ground, where heroes were laid to rest. And this curse turned people into walking corpses? Indeed. I arrived with soldiers. But now I'm the last to stand against the darkness. So you got your men killed, and now you need more help. They fulfilled their purpose. What about you lot? You are just bickering here. Harsh words from someone asking for assistance. Let's go. So now that we have Sir Ector under our control, mm. we need to treat him carefully. Now, for the blood and sweat. Last time, I handled this mission quite well, and the main reason I believe I completed it is that the random shrine gave me a restore armor option for a single character. And it was a big armor restore, like 40% or something. Um, this way. You're not going to fight us yet? Okay. There we go. What on earth are you two doing? That's... Right. What? First off, we want to slow you. Slow the brute. And blast the one we can reach. There we go. This one can make it to there, so we want to be... Okay, you lot are... No mercy for the wicked. Let's set this one on fire. Um... Go to here. I think we're good. Ready. Also, careful use of traps is important. Um, hmm. There we go. And that's a problem. <clears throat> it's not an insurmountable problem. In fact, it is one we can definitely solve. Now, this is an example of that overcommitment I was speaking of earlier. Okay, 
This one's on fire, so we can ignore it. Can I shield barge this one? Yes, I can. Excellent. I probably no mercy for the should have just blasted this one first. Blessings. Make up your mind. Let's pull Sir Actor back to here. Your orders. And commit mass murder. There we go. We have enough to move and strike as well. But let's hold off on Time that for a moment. To feed the ravens. The Lord is my witness. I can take them all. Okay, if I move, can I strike? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Oh, that's annoying. Right. For the wicked. Oh, that's a pain in the backside. Right, okay. I could rush in here and strike. That feels like a very bad thing to do. Well, that's no good. No, we just can't place them adjacent to enemies. Understood. Well then, let's pull back to here. What? Imbecile. Right. If I step up and strike, that's dumb. If I go here and get the kill. I'm also, I've got him up against the building, so he's in a safer position, right. We've slowed the brute down, and we absolutely need to finish him off. Can't shoot this one. This one's on fire and going to die next turn anyway. Let's soften up this one so a single axe blow should finish him off next round. And there we go. And burn to death like the husk that it is. Now. Possibly three attacks on him if we're not. Yeah, that's gonna... Just two. Okay, great. <laughs> now, fortunately, Sir Ector has an armor rune that will restore a point of armor every time he quaffs a potion. I fight for honor. Yeah. You're going down anyway. One of these two shall... Of course, we have the incorrect um, action point display issue with him and that skill. Great. No mercy for the wicked. What? So, am I knocking this one? If I knock this one back, I won't be able to finish it off. If I knock this one back, that's reducing threat. Knocking back the brute seems like a good idea. Ready. What I can do is reduce the um, the amount of targets. This one will be an issue. Can he drop a? Um, the Lord no. is my witness. The Lord is my witness. So, there's a target I can't shoot. Kneel before you. But it's one less target. So I have one more sword strike. I could commit rather I heavily. I don't think I can finish the brute. I can knock it away, possibly reducing it to two strikes instead of one. Let's set it on fire. And I'm not sure... Okay, so we'll go for this. Not quite a kill. 
Use my witness. But we can convert that into a kill. You suffer no more. And then Time to feed the rage. There we go. We're going to lose two or three points of armor there. But that's okay. Just lost one. So orders. This is still on cooldown. <laughs> but we got the action points for, Avalon. for a second strike. That's great. Blessings. We have a nasty bastard who absolutely likes those backstab bonuses. He's not gonna hit anyone else. What so, are we waiting for? I think now no we got this almost. For my Camelot, <laughs> taste of the blade. Uh, not quite, but we're good. Ooh. Uh, let's Make give you the kill because you're going to need the experience. There we go. Thou shalt not kill, said the Lord. That's somewhat ironic coming from Sir Ector. So, we're heading this way looking for treasures. And ah, yes, this woman. Help! Please help me! Finally, a survivor. Everyone is dead. Help me. I have heard that already. Stop babbling and explain yourself. Soldiers came, desecrated the old graves, rounded up some villagers and put them to the sword. I saw their eyes before... Oh, God. Where did these soldiers come from? Oh, God. The man who led the soldiers is standing right there with you. Could you possibly mean Sir Ector? I think I'm going insane. I don't want to die. Please, don't let him any closer. Calm yourself, woman. <laughs> Some of the dialogue options. Now I'm getting even more curious. What on earth had happened here? No, he's a little higher, isn't he? A little higher pitched. Calm yourself, woman. Hmm. Well, now, I'm just going to sweep through here. We've got a potion, that's great. And some money. All things we can't use until after the mission. A blue potion. We can work with a blue potion. These villagers were unaffected by the curse. Yet they got slaughtered by swordsmen. Is strange. Um, no, this isn't right. Yeah, this way. Again, looking in all corners for treasure chests. There's one tucked away in an unexpected place. Okay. The Lord is my witness. Good Sir Knight. Most of these are out of range. Let's slow down the brute. And beware that this encounter also features crossbowmen. Okay, we can shoot this one. Let us ignite it. And shoot it. Later on, we can increase her shot to do additional attacks to things that are on fire. So the 2-1 the combo as opposed to a 1-2 combo is definitely something they want here. What? Well, let's move you up and drop a couple of traps. Oh. 
now. Okay, you can make it a trap, you can make it a bear. Let's uh, go to here. None can stand in I'm stepping, way. I'm staying just short of the trap so I can go for a shield bash. Your orders? And you save, you save. And this really is an end turn moment. Beautiful. Now, ideally, we don't want the one that's on fire to walk into the trap. And we will have other traps to set. Charging into the middle here may be a mistake. Also, that one. How much fire damage? One to four. Okay, might survive. What? Well, we'll go with a big knockback. And a kill. At your service, my lord. Heavy blow. Um, we may need to retreat just to reduce damage. Now, none can stand in my way. Blessings. I can take them all. What an arrogant so and so. I also move him to here, actually. Try and go for the crossbowmen next. Now, your orders. Let's give this one... Wait. Yep, the target by standing here. Now, can we... Yes, we can. Oh, beautiful. Can we just drop one? Okay. Nice. And then if we move you to here... And then my lady... You have many arrows at your disposal. Uh, this one as well. And there we go. Now we do run the risk of multiple backstab shots seriously messing up his armor there. After this fight, we will be using a campfire and... Okay. Campfires can restore hit points or armor. Potions can restore hit points. We don't have any armor potions. Right, you're dead, mate. Ready. How about we just blast this one? Excellent. And then before your king. Step up and strike. Excellent. The Lord is my witness. Finishing shot. Finishing shot. And then... Sinners shall bleed. Down you go, pal. And then we're going to walk to here to engage this one to reduce his chance to shoot. Uh, chop. <laughs> Choppy chop. Excellent. Do it again. And then from here... Um... Yes. He can be a bit of a decoy sometimes, but not too often. Okay, simple short range shot. Yeah, that all works quite nicely. Ooh, actual vitality damage. Okay, well. The king and country. Oh, seriously? Alright. What? Time to feed the ravens. The hmm. Lord is my witness. Blessings. And then I think we're done here. The undead herd is getting thinner. I would have failed without your help. How about a little honesty in return? I came to this bloody place to rally some help to our cause, to perform a ritual. But I have failed. 
Stop speaking in riddles. Out with the truth. No, not yet. Sooner or later, you will have no choice. Now. I keep expecting to find treasure here, but it's not here. It's around another corner. And it's not this corner either. It's, um... It's down here, isn't it? Behind... But... Oof. We do need to rest. Let's absolutely do that. But before we do... Potions for hit points. Everyone else is pretty good for hit points. 13 out of 22 is almost potion time. Let's do it. And then we'll rest for armor. I see. Before I speak, I demand your protection, knights. From whom do you seek protection, soldier? That bloody madman in your ranks, Sir Hector. Be careful there, soldier. You are accusing a man of honor. I refused to kill innocent people for some ritual. The others didn't, and everything turned into shit. And what say you, Sir Hector? Die, traitor. What are you staring at? You must be wondering why he called me a traitor. You are not ready for the truth. But trust me, everything I do... I do it for Camelot. You haven't gone soft in Avalon, Selector. That's for certain. So, we'll rest for the armor. I think I've earned a feast. And then I'll come round here. Was this it? This was that? one of the hidden treasure chests. Spoils. More spoils. More coin. We will put this to good use. Restoring Camelot to its former glory. However, of course, since this is Arthurian myth, um, I'm thinking of the Fisher King. When the king dies, the land dies. So that could explain the whole necromantic undead twist on things. People speak well of my marksmanship, which I don't really understand. <laughs> Anyone can split a small apple with an arrow from afar, right? This is... Okay, room for ranged weapons. She's probably getting an upgrade after this, then. Um, now. I think I'm going back into the center again. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. And heading towards the group over here. My loyal vassals. They were fighting to their last breath. May the Lord take their soul. Easy there. So this one is a little bit of an odd fight, but let's press on in. They do have set deployment points, the heroes. As you see, they run to different... Slightly different. Your orders? Okay, well, we'll just take you out then. That simplifies things quite a lot. Usually, Sir Balan is around here with um, Sir Hector over here. Yes, it's slightly different. Make up your mind. We need you to bugger off. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, you sit here. Blessings. How about we drop it right here? At a guess. At your service, my lord. And then skip back to here. See what I normally would have had her set him on fire. Right, let's move to here. out to here. Okay, we're done. 
Oh, that's annoying. We can work with it though. Our next campfire will probably be a hit point one. I love it when a trap comes together. <laughs> okay, so the Lord is my witness. that's an annoying problem. But wait, the Lord is my witness. there's more. Sadly, we need to move her, so no second shot. Your command? Because otherwise, he's just stuck in here for so long. And if we move him to here to be a potential target for this one. Kneel before your king. Huh. Interesting. Your orders? Sinners shall bleed. Oh, I can. Lovely. Um, problem solved, then. Uh, I don't think you can okay, make a... Um, I think I can it. safely pull out here with no attack of opportunity. That is great. Don't like you. You get shot. That was a lot of action points being saved. A double attack? Yeah, I thought so. Right. So let's simplify this ever so slightly. Blessings. And also set you on fire. Because it's gonna take us a little while to get to that one. Sinners shall bleed. Alright. What? Camelot. Works a charm. And Sinners then you, my lady, don't get to shoot anyone. Okay. Uh, turn's done. Who's to. Oh, you! Your command? Right, so. If we move. Oh, you can? Now you are dead. So glad I found out. Who? You. I mean, if we just sidle across to here, slash that one, you know, just one enemy left, we can handle that. Yeah, shoot the one with armor. I don't know if he generates additional threat or not. I fight for honor. But I'm glad that in this instance he did. Now, we get to check out the end here, where I believe there's nothing unusual. We can't cross that wall. And now we get to come down this way. At this point, that is a nice chest. There's another one. There's a barrel there. Am I missing something? That one tucked behind the building up there near the campfire isn't the only one tucked away. There's another one somewhere around here, I believe. And this is our best angle of approach here. Sometimes, one of them rises in the middle of our number. No Fortunately, for we have someone equipped to deal with that. What are we waiting for? Sinners shall bleed. No mercy for the now, wicked. Now, my lady. Ah, oh, just out of reach. Okay, fine. 
for the Lord Almighty. Now, we do want better positions. You are not coming any closer than here. And you might not even come that far. So I you, fight for honor. Sir Knight, get to go to here and wait. Yes, he didn't come any closer. Whereas another knight coming from the south. We want to be careful of him. So we're going for a knockdown. But is that is that what we want to do first? Not necessarily. I fight for honor. We got the kill. That's great. And moving back towards the general fight is a good thing. Question is Do we want to blast him or one of these? Well, we can't get this one. Or that one. Right, we slow him down. So now he really can't reach anybody. Then we blast this one. Now. Okay. Drop a trap here. That all looks very low. You know, this looks even better. And no you, my lady, get to shoot this one once. You know what? Finish him off. Time and then we'll take the that knockdown. And... We could move up and hit him while he's down. Or we could back away. Let's do that. All right, he got where we need him. That's good. Okay, that's not so good. We need to move no mercy this obstacle. For the wicked. Sinners shall bleed. My lady, if you would. Um, there we go. For king and country. So we're going to Diablo door this. <laughs> By which I mean they can only get one of him in here, we can get three of us here. For my Camelot. Obviously, I should do this. The Lord is my witness. Good start. Time to feed the ravens. I mean, not ideal. He's gonna hit us quite hard now. And we have this one who can't engage this turn. And will be soon knocked back. Oh, a big cleave, lovely. The Lord is my witness. Let's set you on fire. And shoot you. And I knock you back. The Lord. Excellent. I fight for honor. And then we'll start and work our way along the line. And I believe... The Lord is my witness. Oh! Your right. Command? Hit him again. I think we got this. Excellent. So now, I could drink a potion, drink a potion, and go rest for armor, and we'd still be in pretty good shape. Now, enemy groups, we have the one here, and the knight, we do need the armor restoration. 
Oh. And we, we can actually literally walk up here and see the enemies on the edge of the group and not and they won't engage until we walk around to the trigger point over there. So time for us to restore our armor once again. So hit points are bigger than armor, right? Armor is like soft armor, hit points are like hard armor, fine. but it's also the other way around. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. And armor. Nothing like a good sleep. So the armor is damage reduction, but it chips off really quickly before we've run out of hit points. And the hit points protect the vitality. We are going to be taking injuries and vitality damage in this encounter, this whole scenario. It's just there's so many attacks coming our way. We don't want to go any further in than we absolutely have to. Now, this is a large enemy group that contains a skirmisher and two brutes. Sinners shall bleed. We can't slow you, we can sleep. So we slow this one because it's purely the closest. And we blast this one because it's further away. Now. Blessings. This target is slowed, so it'd be nice to set it on fire. Um. Wow, she she doesn't get to shoot very many people from here, does she? So that's four, eight, and one. So let's For the Lord ignite that one and just shoot this one. Next up, enemy movement ranges, so we generally want to stay out of, um, got it, so about here would be great. Make we absolutely do need traps. So we don't want to lure that one into the trap, but hmm. that's good enough for now. You're going to walk into the trap? Great! You are. That's wonderful. Oh, that's a problem. I'll explain why in a moment. Right. This is a problem because this foe is on very low health and we need we want a low damage hit to finish it off. Blessings. And we can't quite get one. So bleed. Alright, let's knock. Hmm. If we eradicate this foe and advance him up, he will get swarmed by this lot. So we might as well actually. You fought. And take this one out and fall back. I serve the Lord. With that in mind, what else do we want to do? We need to disable this one, and this one's a bit too far away to be a threat to anyone right now. So, Kneel before you, king. That's good. Blessings. We have extra damage against downed opponents we cannot currently hit because he is in the way. Ready. Oh, 
sinners shall bleed. Kneel before you. I serve the law. So we can work with this. What are we waiting for? We can move you out of the way. Power and glory. If we go here to reduce threat to her. Blessings. Blast him while he's down. And eat off a point of armor. And the knockback is important as well. Right. For my Camelot. And then just At you. Your service, my lord. Okay, so... Here, actually, is a good position. Yes, let's do that. And now the second brute has arrived. It's also guarded on this side by a peasant. I think I can see the activation order already. Right. What? So we want to get rid of this peasant. Good start. None can stand this is still recharging. We cannot attack again. We can move. For king and country. We get the big Bosch. And no follow-up. Blessings. That's not enough for a kill. What? This is. And then we pull back to here. Blessings. We move to here. I serve the Lord. We still get lots of opportunities for targets now. Um, Time to feed the ravens. And there's one of them. <laughs> okay, no hits here. Lots of enemies coming in. Quite a bit of damage. No mercy for the wicked. Blocked. We're gonna shoot you. We might as well set you on fire. Oh! With the vileness. Yeah, shoot the crossbowman as well. And then you are dropping a trap just here. Okay. That's us done. And hopefully we don't take too much damage. But I'm thinking the third campfire will be a hit point for campfire. Uh, yes, it will. No doubt about it. We want to take care of this one. To free up Sir Balan to come and hit something really hard. Um, what do we want to hit really hard? I haven't fully decided yet. No mercy for the wicked. We need to get rid of you. No mercy for the wicked. Ready. What can we blast? You'll do. Uh, as will you. Right. Kneel before you. Oh, that's not enough for a kill. This is a patriotic place to stand. And that crossbow is a lot less dangerous now it's engaged. Right. No mercy for the wicked. Well, my lady, if you'll just pick off that one and this one. There we go. And then you can move to there, sir. Uh, let's get you here. I think we're good. Oh. 
Ow. All right. He really needs to. Yes. The Lord is my witness. So he's lost two injury tokens now, meaning that he is well screwed. Should another serious injury come his way. Let's get okay. you that hit. And country. Here. And can you I come and finish him off? Yes, you can. We are done with the chaff. We must head to the sacred grounds at once. More riddles again. The curse is slowly coming undone. And the soil is spewing out lost ones. They are awake. Let me guess. These are not the usual shambling corpses. I am afraid not. Reanimated husks of knights. Great warriors. Splendid. Let's go. Now. Gotta be careful here. Because there is one knight out here on the side who's very dangerous indeed. Ah oh, yes, we get this body. A hastily scribbled message, most notably from a scholar. Dear wife, I think I'm not going to make it. Soldiers arrived to the village led by an arcanist and performed horrible acts I can't describe. They made the dead walk again. I just want to say I love you with all my heart. Your Junin. And it's still highlighted. This used to be a sacred ground, but it turned into a nightmarish purgatory for dead heroes. Now. Hardly my doing, I admit. I must cleanse this place. A place of devotion. Uh, a bless. So this on my last run was a restore armor or or a haste no it was a haste wasn't it um give it to sir balin because of his multiple attacks and he is the christian knight in this group now that means there's a shrine around here somewhere that i've missed and i think i know where it is we obviously need to be and that that is low vitality that is not good um hello campfire oh it's just up there well then we should stop we really should and we're resting for vitality this time uh hit points rather the lord shall guide my hand Now, we can find a great many entry points into this fight, but we will be better off just using the default one. Britannia, Mordred. I was not a warrior back then. This is true, you were not, my lady. Uh, the ladies in Arthurian myth are interesting in that a lot of them have the same names. There's six Lynettes, there's two or three, um, there's a lot of copycat names. Here lies the Unforgotten. May their names forever be wreathed in glory. Sir Avastan the Brave, Sir Calod the Unrelenting, Sir Perfinal the Grim. Now, let's go find that shrine. I believe it's over here somewhere. And we need to find it without engaging the knight. Because with the with the armor restoration, I was able to challenge him to single combat the way he wanted. Ah. So just reward. Sigil for light armor. And This is dangerous. So We're screwed. The one who yanked me from the cold grave. 
Arthur. Who are you talking to, a lost one? The fool who raised the dead to recruit an army for Camelot. Sir Hector. Now this pretty much tells us what's gone on here. I want to know more of this. I was laid to rest as a revered champion. Now I'm just a puppet brought back by an unholy ritual. Hmm. I still long for battle, but I refuse to fight for anyone but myself. Choose your champion for one last nightly bout. You know, we... The shrine didn't give us what we needed, I couldn't find it, so we can't be honorable. Enough of this farce. Attack! Now, you... So, in single combat, I could make him vulnerable, knock him down, and then I'd have enough armor to... to take it. At your service, my lord. Alright. So we don't want to knock I him back. The lord. Your orders? We want the big Bosch. We don't get the big Bosch. We get a regular hit. We get a shield bash. And then a move to here to reduce blocking. Power and glory. Well, that was quick. Lost. Who's gonna? Why are you looking at me like that? Because of these accusations, there is no price too dear to pay for Avalon. The Lord forgives. So somewhere around here is a shrine, and it's not. It's not the uh, the holy water font. It's an old window arch style looking one. Where was it? Was it round here? It's not at the end. Oh well. I'd like to find out the purpose of the many jars in the in the encounter. I think the idea is they do five points of damage when enemies go through the clouds. If they restore health to our enemies, they don't do anything for us. Uh, no, sorry, if they restore health to the enemies, the enemies aren't breaking them. We are. So... Is breaking them a mistake? Let's see. So, it's all about control. Meaning, the Lord is my witness. we want you here or here, and you Make in the other one of those mind. two spaces. Uh, for knockback potential, keep him near the middle. Now, for my Camelot. we want you here. At your service, you my lord. Here and blessings. Here, I think that will do. We do have other deployment points around the area, including at the back here. However, we do seem to be better off in a corner. Blessings. Now. The entire purpose of this fight no mercy for the wicked is to slow down the free knights and stop them from ganging up on us. Individually we can handle them. He's gonna be a while coming to us, that's great. Let's move to here to give him something to come towards. Then what? We want some traps. Uh, you're coming along. And then if we pull you 
back to here. That's great. Are you blocking shots? Bleed. Yes. That's a minor bother. I fight for honor. Okay, he can't reach anyone yet. I serve so the we'll keep shooting. Wait, wait, wait. Shoot this. My lady. Oh, you need to move? You for my Camelot. No mercy for the wicked. Let's see. Is this... Okay, good. It does do damage to them. Excellent. And then, if we... Wait, 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 wait. I serve the Lord. Let's get some more traps out. You know what? Let's have one... Oh look, no mercy for the wicked. new trap. It's on his direct line, so... The Lord is my witness. And that's enough about car insurance. Excellent, the knockback is grand. Uh, let's pull back service, my Lord. ever so slightly. We want to be cautious of those. And yes, we are conserving a lot of points. Now the free knights are closing in, so we want to be... Oh, to shoot that pot. This is great. We can finish off him as well. Let's do that. So then. Oh, we can set you on fire again. We probably should. Wait, 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 wait. Before your king. Yes, be vulnerable. I serve the Lord. Down with the violence. For the Lord Almighty. Now, at this point, it's almost worth going in for the kill. I serve the Lord. Almost. I fight for honor. Let's get that heavy hit in. And then we're going to back away after we blast him out of reach. At your service, my lord. Now that is still a big threat to us, so make up your mind. Okay. We need to reposition slightly because of incoming foes. There we go. See you soon now, Sir Hector. We shall be awaiting. You shall indeed, and we shall send you there. He did not fall to the flames he fell to this right so blessings new plan obviously Power and who glory. can we slow you or you you will do if we blast you we can that's great blast you more important 
The All Lord right. is my witness. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Uh, range, range, range. Right. Here then. Oh, fine, you'll do. For the Lord Almighty. I fight for honor. Blessings. Now, if we pull hmm. none can stand in my way. Your command? We want to encourage them to come towards our traps. Is that good? That's good. Wait. Time to feed the ravens. No, that's good. Yeah, they're not taking that damage. Okay, okay. So the knights don't take the damage the peasants do. Interesting. Okay, so that's... Oh, squires, right. Knights and squires, of course. Now, you're slowed. You are at bay. A little bit of fire damage. He's not even on fire, actually. Okay. What are we waiting for? We can knock back the peasant. Or the, we don't want the two knights to converge. shall bleed ah, that, that squire prevents us dropping traps in really helpful places so let's remove the squire huh the Lord is my witness power and glory really Wow, okay. Oh, that's a massive problem. No mercy for the wicked. Well then. Yeah, big damage. Life is suffering. <laughs> We don't want you here. No mercy for the wicked. The Lord now. is my witness. We drop back to here. Drop a trap here. And move. And then I fight for honor. Pull you back to here. Even here. And then None you can stand in my way. Back up a point to here. Semi good better. Alright, that's done something to his weapon that means we don't want to be fighting him. So I let's just not fight him. Defend yourself. No mercy for the wicked. And slow spell. Now, None we can absolutely stand in my way need to do this. Blessings. We don't want that squire getting back up and causing trouble. I fight for honor. Speaking of trouble, this is a problem. Big Bosch. And then we keep up with the damage. Oh, so close. And this round we take a lot of hurt, quite possibly to Sir Balin. Yep. Yep, I wasn't wrong. I serve the Lord. 
but this is what we do. We shoot. We shoot again. I serve the Lord. We finish him. And if we move to here, we get a hit in here as well. What are we waiting for? Now I don't know if he's gaining experience before he joins Time us. To so feed the ravens. This should be cut you to size. It. The plague is over, and the curse has been dispelled. Yet I still owe you an explanation. You didn't think we would survive. Meaning he he wouldn't have to bother telling us if we didn't. Oh uh, no. An explanation is long overdue, Sir Ector. I came to this place to resurrect great champions of old, to bind them to my bidding with an incantation. Fighting fire with fire. Old. Avalon is besieged from all sides. It must survive whatever it costs. My honor or your lives, it doesn't matter. What happened to the village? The earth demands blood to release the dead. I ordered my men to kill some villagers. But the incantation went wrong. You performed a blood sacrifice at the burial ground? The ritual has worked before, but this Avalon is not the place I used to know. The Sir Ector I know would have never done this. I have not been the same man since I died. I regret nothing. There is still plenty of time for that, but not here. Let's go. Now, I could absolutely click that big shining finish mission button. But I've got things to get. This tomb here, exactly the same as the other one. And there's a massive chest on my map over here that I really would like to open. So. Nice plunder. We have an injury. So someone's going to be resting to recover. And now we're done here. The missing spike here bothers me. We have one here, one here, one here, none here. And it doesn't even seem to be broken off, it's just not there. I think th this shadow here looks like it might have once been there, but it should have been a slightly different position. Uh, I think they might have decided that it broke up, and it does break up this line too much, but they could have just got rid of this one, right? It's so close to this pauldron. And yet they didn't, they kept it there. That's an odd artistic choice. Also, these two little spikes here and here are really going to mess with his eye line. Hmm. I mean, not massively, right? But, and he'll probably get used to them eventually, but even so, it affects his peripheral vision a bit. It's not about something being annoying. It's about those occasional blind spots. So, we got some levels and some injuries. Minus 19 vitality? Okay, that's a problem. Lethargy injury, okay. Uh, stone skin potion gives armor for one turn. Is it 40% of current armor or 40% of maximum armor? Healing potions. Oh, removes damage over time. Oh, effects, I see. Lots of armor, weapon, ring. More armor, number weapon. Great. 300 building resources, 765 gold. That's good for us. A skilled artisan arrives in Camelot with his family. According to his tale, the countryside is infected with lost ones and marauding bandits. Most skilled craftsmen, sorry, most skilled craftsmen are desperate for protection and peace. For a small sum of gold, he could recruit an assorted group of carpenters and blacksmiths. If I agree, their family's safety. A fair offer, all things considered. Only a fool or a knight would face horrors outside Camelot. Um, 300 building resources for 500 gold? Sure. 
I mean, it means we can't really afford anything big right now. So Kay has regained vitality and is now in a much healthier state. We have three levels. Let's look at equipment first. Two bows. Uh, that's her starting bow and this. Extra damage. We lose the plus two damage against knockdown opponents. But we get plus five percent armor breaking. And plus one maximum. Yeah, sure. Sure, we'll do that. We also have a one-handed weapon. Uh, just a slight damage increase. Only he can take it. It's a straight-up upgrade. Well, it's not, because our lower damage, um, our lowest damage is, is lower as well. Armor. What do we got? Vanguard and Sage only. One of your heroes has picked up an injury. These debuffs will persist. They will hinder your hero until you heal the injuries in the cathedral. Guess what I'm going to do? Oh, cathedral, not hospice. All right. Lower up. Lower hit points, more armor. He is very low on the armor side of things. Vanguard and Sage. So this would be an improvement for him. Uh, 15 hit points. He doesn't get attacked as often though. So, Marksman and Arcanist. Um, three vitality at the end of a mission, two vitality on drinking potions. So that's just good all round. Um, sure. It's a recovery mechanic now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's actually. It's losing the armor, but she virtually never gets attacked. The extra four hit points are probably worth it, because those two points of armor won't last long if she gets mobbed. Right. Plus two damage while in a duel. Somebody here has benefits related to being in a duel. Oh, no, no, no. It was a weapon that was available. So, burning duration. Um, this is probably better for her at the moment, to be honest. That being said, we could get the duration extender, but we also want the scout. Enemy traps. Um, also, plus one perception. We do want the perception to find hidden treasure. Let's grab that. Hmm. We might start encountering more foes of block values. So, one a jewel plus one perception, just overall good for her. Potions. We have some more healing potions. Um, let's give one to you. This is a armor boost potion. Right. Skills. This skill, still broken. Right? We don't know what's wrong with it. But if we get this one, maybe this one will show up on his bar. Get that new active skill. I'm probably not going to use it anytime soon. And here. Rage. Okay, damage boost on a kill. Defensive stance. It's just great. Flat out great. There we go. So now, let's visit the hospice, where we have a knight in need of healing. Two missions. It's supposed to be free healing, ten vitality mission. Why is it... Eleven... Okay, okay. So it's not one vitality mission. It's, it's only showing how much he's missing. 
no, that's not right. It is 10. He's gaining an extra one for 11. Okay. We'll take it as free healing because we should get another hero from the next mission anyway. There we go. It would be nice to get one of these upgrades, but we don't really have the money for an upgrade right now. Also, oof, at least he regenerates health after every mission, so we heal him less often, right? We do want to build the cathedral. It needs more money. Training ground and the enchanted tower can come a little bit later. As for the merchant, six to eight, six to nine. Five to nine, four to ten, four to ten. Drop back five to nine. Ah, uh, one damage for Overwatch. Two damage for gets knocked down. Champion only. That is a downgrade for both these, I believe. Yes. And these. 25, 25. Um, I might want to sell one of these at some point, but not just yet. Um... Yes, this is just... Oh no, this was minimum, that was maximum. Okay, I see, I see. So they're basically the same sword with slightly different tweaks. Right. Uh, 13, just flat basic. Minus one damage from ranged attacks as opposed to plus five vitality. And... Plus one movement if from disengaging. So two armor, no armor. I think this can go. Right. 18.5. For... Why isn't this equipped? Wait, 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 wait. Hello. Somebody's getting an armor upgrade and somebody's getting a hand-me-down. Oh no. No, no, no. Right, I see. So this, regain one armor when drinking potions. What happened to the one unbreakable without number, armor without numbered? Why? What? When did this get equipped? Okay. That's what he always has. And then this. That's no good. Right. Well outnumbered, yeah, sure. Injury token better. Regain one armor when drinking a potion. Even better. Sure. Then you um in a jewel injury token, sure. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Um, Vanguard and Sage. Okay, Marks from Archimedes. Okay, we can ditch that. Um, Vanguard. Minus one damage from ranged attacks. So hold on to this. Um, sell. Keep sell. I'm sure this is absolutely scintillating viewing. Keep sell. Right. Trinkets. Odds and ends. Various sundries. Um, damage and energy. Ah. Okay, we could actually give this to someone. Burning duration. We could give that to her, but she's better off slightly. Um, extra damage from Overwatch. We don't know about enemy block values yet. Oh, that's bothersome. Alright. Well, I think we're done here. And so Kay has indeed regained some vitality. It's great. Do we want more potions for the next mission? We probably absolutely do. 
Oh! Oh! What's this? Rebuild the cathedral, you say? Um... I think that might be a very good idea. However, I think I can put off that decision until after the next mission. Hmm. Yes. Because he'll still be healing up anyway. What other upgrades can I have? Absolutely nothing, probably. Most of these are, ex are like a thousand gold. Yeah. So the reason I'm wanting to hold off is that the event after the next mission might might need this money. So with that, I think I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode and I do look forward to seeing you all in the very next one. I'm going to say goodbye for now though and cheerio everyone. See you all next time.